welcome. I do not have an intro, but I have a brand new video for you and also a brand new thing I've never done before. Um, not on this channel, not playing for myself. I've never built a playground before. <laughs> I've used one playground that was from the workshop that I didn't change anything about. I just plopped it down in my zoo and that was it. I never bothered with playgrounds, although I think they're really cool. And whenever I watch like a zoo tour or watch other people do it, I'm like, Wow, playgrounds are really cool. Um, never done it before, but I changed that. <laughs> and it was so much fun. It was honestly a lot of fun. At first I was a bit stressed because I didn't have a clear concept or idea for what I wanted to do. I just knew I wanted a playground. Um, and I was also planning to build uh, like an entire guest area here. So I also have like maybe a restaurant or something, but the playground actually took me quite some time. Um, the parts that you see in this video are not the part that took me that much time. It was really all the things I tried before that that took me the time. <laughs> and also in the end uh, we do a lot of um, like flower bets and um, those just took a lot of time to do. But I'm not really showing that much. That is why this video is relatively short in comparison to the time that I actually did spend on that. Um, but yeah, uh, I had to try a few things before I landed on a concept that I actually liked. So I did not plan on this like lime green, neon yellow, whatever you want to call it, kind of uh, color. And um, you will see throughout this video that I am taking a lot of pieces from a little bit of a piece palette that I made myself, which is honestly super helpful. <laughs> and uh, if you're ever stuck with something, make yourself a palette out of pieces. It, it can be so helpful just going through the menu and seeing pieces and be like, I, I want to use it for this building. Um, and it, it sounds kind of weird to say just put down pieces that you think you could be using, but it is a lot. It's very helpful, especially when you get stuck. You can look at the pieces and think, oh, I could use this. But also because I had that problem at first when I started this technique, um, don't get stuck on thinking, ah, oh, I didn't use this one piece and it would have been so perfect. It, that doesn't help you either. Just, you know, make the palette, see what you can use and what you didn't use. Don't be upset with it because, you know, that's not gonna help you anyway. Um, but yeah, this was so much fun to build because once I had this idea done and once I, I was, I like had a direction where it was going, uh, it was so much fun and I think I could kind of have this like playfulness to it um, That I was thinking like oh what did I enjoy <laughs> when I was on the playground as a kid um, And as you can see right now, I, I did change the white color to a more um, uh, Brown color because uh, I, I don't know I wanted it to look more wooden I think it's kind of unrealistic for a playground for children to be white I think it would get dirty very easily because it's outdoors and it's children <laughs> so yeah didn't feel like that was the best idea so I changed it uh, but I kept some of the pieces obviously white and some of the pieces green and that kind of gives us the color palette with this again I didn't really plan ahead for this this just sort of kind of happened and even the color it kind of was a color that i used for i don't even know what i just used it for something before and it was still in this like little menu of recently used colors and it was like that's good i'll take it <laughs> so this was really like a lot less planned than how i usually approach things which was fun to me and i do need these type of little projects sometimes where i'm like not overly stressed with planning um, but yeah, like I said, it, it did turn out good. I do really like it. I, I do think that some of it, um, might be a bit unsafe and some of it might be a bit too close to the surrounding barrier that will be there. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, ideally I would have used, um, a bit of a bigger space, I guess, or not built that close to the, um, to the you know, a, what is it called, perimeter of, of the playground. But I mean, in the end, this is still a game and the kids aren't actually gonna play on this. So there can't be a kid that falls down and like, you know, um, gets injured here. 
Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I think that's not too bad. I do, I am, I'm not quite sure. I will probably make a blueprint out of it, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I did, um, I, actually, I think I replied to a comment saying that I was planning on releasing a few more blueprints, uh, or any at all. Because I do actually think that now I'm kind of getting to a point where there's quite a few things that I could make a blueprint out of. And this playground really is one of them. Um, there's also been a few things that came up in comments where I was like, yeah, you're right, this could be a blueprint. <laughs> um, so I, I want to get into that. Maybe not now that I'm like constantly complaining that I don't have the time to do stuff. But um, it's 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 on there, and I do actually have a list. I'm a big list maker, so I have a list on my phone um, with things that I want to do. There's uh, things that you guys ask me for to do, like uh, talk about shelters, for example. So I I do have that list, and I know that these things are coming uh, once I have a little bit more time on my hands, which it's looking good right now. But you know, you know, whenever you're like, oh, I have more time now then, you know, life stuff always gets there. And then when you're like, I'm super stressed, suddenly you have like a burst of energy and you're like, well, I was super stressed and here I am doing more. Um, it's also kind of interesting that I would have said that just like right there because then I had to take a break uh, to do something else because uh, a friend needed me help or something. It was like kind of uh, important. And so, yeah. There it was, life getting in the way of me having time. This is two days later, by the way, and so I also missed the upload day, but I think we're getting there because I think I'll be uploading this today on Sunday. Um, and then, because I was getting ready with this video on, actually Thursday, I think. I was, I was like ahead of time, um, which I, I, you know, before I started a new job, I always was ahead of time. Like, I was like two weeks ahead of time. So yeah, I really, really want to get back into that uh, because that was um, a little less like stressful and I like having a schedule. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's get back talking about this. I kind of steal this, uh, like talking about the build, obviously. <laughs> I kind of stole this idea of um, using those like uh, art pieces for a water slide. I did see that a lot in a lot of different uh, people's playgrounds. Not a water slide, what? No, just like a regular like slide that's like covered. Um, is it called slide? A s um, oh yeah, yeah, it's called a water slide, right? So without the water, it's just a slide. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I did um, steal this. Obviously, don't get um, confused with all the ropes there. I will get rid of them. They're not supposed to be there. Uh, they were just, uh, I tried something and I pulled them aside in case I needed them again, but I, I won't. I will get rid of them. Um, but yeah, I did uh, kind of get this this way of creating a slide um, from other people's playgrounds uh, because, you know, that's a common way to do it in this game. Obviously, it's not hollow, um, but yeah, I don't know. I looked also, if you've seen it in the background, I did look at some of uh, the blueprint playgrounds that you can find on the workshop just to uh, sort of get an idea how people do it. I didn't directly take anything, um, so don't worry. Everything I did here I did build myself and put together myself but just the way that people structured it uh, I kind of wanted to have a look before I started because I've never played uh, like made a playground before and I always think that if someone on the workshop has done it it can kind of give you a better idea on um, just like how you can structure something <laughs> I don't know um, this piece right there that we're working on right now was actually, is, is, oh my god, it's kind of my favorite thing in this entire build. This like little uh, climbing wall, because at first, um, as you could see, I wanted to uh, have like a not see-through surface, just like a, a like wooden planks. And then I did take this like mesh piece and put these little dots on there. Uh, to kind of create this little climbing wall thing, which it's kind of unrealistic because I think if Chat were to fall from this, which isn't unlikely, that would be dangerous. Um, but I don't know, I think it just looks really nice. And I, I know I would have loved it as a kid to climb up there. Um, 
but yeah i don't know that was that's kind of my favorite part also this little bridge i really like uh because it's like kind of um i don't even know what they're called but they shake when you walk over them and i loved them as a kid as well um <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of people are kind of scared of these types of bridges. Um, and I, I know that, I don't know if it was my mom or my dad or just some adult in my life that never wanted to walk over them when we were at the playground. Um, I, it's probably not my parents. That doesn't sound like something my parents would do. Um, maybe my mom, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just like these bridges and I think this one turned out really good. I think you can totally tell what I was going for there. Um, and then also the swing sets. Yeah, like I said, I'm really actually happy with this playground. I do think that in the beginning, the first part that I built isn't really in scale that much, but um, it's it's not like a, an eyesore, I think you would call it. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It took me some time to get into scale, I guess, and make it look very detailed. Um, and I mean, we are kind of getting towards the end, and I don't know if I'll have time to say it when it happens, but I included some of the new education pieces for kids in this. Um, so it obviously happens at the end of this, um, because I am sort of struggling putting paths in here because I wanted paths. Uh, I really, really wanted them because I wanted people to walk around here. Um, and I've not yet, uh, how do I say, um, idiot proved it. So they are still walking through it. Um, and I, I've also not really seen them walk. I've not looked at it yet, but we will have a little bit of a real time part later. So don't you worry. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I didn't put like any barriers in yet. So they are still walking through everything. Um, but I did put paths in because I wanted people to walk at least somewhere, even if it's idiotic. Um, and then, uh, I added some of the new education pieces. I added this soundboard thing because I just felt like it you know, um, you know, it fitted the vibe of this. Uh, the other things, not so much. I did try, but they were like too big and too, um, I guess too colorful, too, too much of a motif were on there. And this is fairly like a modern playground, right? Like this isn't too kitschy and childish. It's just, it's inviting and colorful and bright, but, um, no like crazy motif stuff the only motifs that we have is these like shapes which i think are like modern <laughs> um and oh my god this thing i don't know what i thought i think it, it looks fun super dangerous though <laughs> um never seen it on a playground that is my personal thing that i came up with this is a little like balancing beam thing that is way too high but i don't know i think it looks cool uh, and the playground like needed something in this direction so I just it just happened um but yeah i think we're almost no, no no we're not that close i don't know i don't know what this is missing oh i know what this is missing i was like well the program is almost done how can this video still be a few more minutes no but this is surrounded by flower beds uh which is kind of just the same kind of flower beds that we use uh opposite of it it's kind of next to the rhino enclosure that we've built before and um yeah that, that's basically it. <laughs> uh, it. It uses the same flower beds. I will, you know, if I do the blueprint, um, which I hope I can do, uh, I I don't want to have the, the flower beds on it because I think that kind of makes it less versatile um, because you don't have to stick it all in this like really closed off area like I did. Um, if I do the blueprint, I will do it without. And also, you know, I know, you know, this series, I'm only building with base game pieces, but I still want to say it. If this is a blueprint, it's really cool because everyone can use it because you only need the base game uh, to, you know, play with this. Um, to, you know, to be able to have this in your game because, you know, you don't have any, you don't need any DLC. So if there's DLCs that you're, you just don't like or that you, you know, you don't want to spend the money on now um, and kind of wait or wait for a sale, then you know, this is the playground for you because it doesn't need any uh, DLCs because that is kind of the whole point of, you know, this series. Um, oh, this one is struggling. <laughs> oh my God. Um, uh, 
<laughs> no, I was just referring to uh, the, you know, the um, the thing I was just placing. What is it called? The um, the education thing for the kids. Uh, the soundboard thing. Uh, it looks really funny because you know when some of the things that have to clip to paths, they kind of like struggle around when you place them, and it looked really funny to me to see that. It, you know, sped up in the footage here. Um, but yeah, now we are with the flower beds and they're kind of diagonal. No real reason, I just thought it looked cool. Um, and um, I'm really into flower beds lately. Uh, just flowers are so pretty. <laughs> Boy, that sounds so dumb. <laughs> okay, okay, before I do more dumb things, I'll leave you with the rest of the video and then talk more dumb stuff to you. Um, once we are, you know, with the real time part, so I think it'd be like, I don't know, I guess like a minute, minute or two before we go into the real time part. So just enjoy some music. I'll see you there. All right, here we are looking at our beautiful little playground. Um, the guests aren't walking through it. I don't know why. I don't think there's anything over here that attracts them to it, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, 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 no, okay, no, they're not going in there. I don't know why they're not doing it. I'll get behind that or um, find out, you know. But, um, okay, let's, 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 just, la, 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 let's go down here and walk around from the visitor's perspective. Um, oh, the flower beds are done, by the way. Uh, they are filled with exactly the same flowers as the flower beds that are surrounding it over here. So not that crazy. You don't really have to pay attention to those too much. We've seen them before. Um, we have these uh, thingies that are kind of, you know, I don't think I said it in the video. These are supposed to be like for you to climb up. You can climb on top of them or like go underneath it. Uh, that is kind of the idea behind these. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep these flowers in there. Uh, I think that they look cute, but maybe they're too graphic for this. Um, yeah, this here I recolored. I'm not sure if that was in the video I did it after. Um, but yeah, these are. this is a swing set. Then here we have some like balancing thing. Um, and I think, I think people just walk through it. Um, and we obviously have this slide. This is my favorite thing. It's really bad that this is in the shadows because this mesh piece right here is actually also like lime green, but you can't see it. Um, yeah. I don't know. I really like how this turned out. Um, there's some benches around for, I thought, like parents who'd sit down and like look at their children's play. So there's a lot of benches around here. Um, obviously this is the, uh, outpost thing into the rhino habitat. Um, it kind of bothers me that these are different wood tones, but I do think it's kind of unreal. It's kind of realistic, um, to have different wood tones, even if they're right next to each other. So I'm not too bothered with it, but I don't know. But yeah, I think the flower beds kind of tie it together, so they'll be fine. Um, and this plot over here is actually where I wanted to have... Maybe a restaurant, maybe just like, just like something more for the guests. Um, and then in the episode after that, we will definitely go back into some more animal exhibits. Because I know that they're kind of more exciting than the visitor stuff. But I do quite like building for the visitors. Um, especially with the channel. Because um, 
I don't know. I don't think you built for the visitors that much and that detail when you play on your own. So this is definitely like a cool opportunity for me to do that more. Uh, oh, people are using it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. You hid your hat, but that's fine. Okay. All right. People are using it. Um, okay. So that also means I will have to put in the uh, barriers probably so that they don't walk through stuff. But, oh, oh my god, the kid is using it. Let's look at that. Look at you learning. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I think that is a nice way to end it on. Let's just go out of here. Um, look at it from up top again. I don't know. I think this is so cute. Uh, I mean... I don't know, it's weird praising your own build, uh, but I do think it's cute. Uh, I would have liked to play here as a child, and I do quite like this round thing. I know it's fairly unrealistic, because, you know, physics and stuff, but I do like it. Um, so yeah, let me know if you like it as well. Let me know if I'm the only person liking it. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. But um, yeah, I hope to see you around for another video. I hope that you're excited for us to get back into looking at animals in the videos. Uh, or maybe you're just really excited for a restaurant as well. Uh, that'll be great because that'll be the next thing probably. Um, or I'll just leave that plot here empty. Anyway, I hope to see you around for another video, whatever it may be. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, bye.